we moved into the house about a year and a half ago. It's a beautiful piece of land, but we've got this brick walkway that, a uh, couple things. It's pretty narrow, you can see that, and it looks like over time the bricks have really sunk quite a bit. Well, let's take a look up here by the door. Obviously, they've sunk right down here. They're below the door. Now, we have a pattern, which is just a straight line coming out, and then it changes to a pattern two over one. Yeah. Is that a problem? No, it's not. Nothing wrong with the pattern or the brick, but it's these gaps in between the brick. First of all, it's filling in with weeds and moss, and that can be slippery. Second of all, when the gap is that wide, the brick can move. Mm -hmm. When they're tight together, they won't move at all. And that's why it's sinking over here, and there's a lot of moss on top of it. Well, I, I got different ideas about the sinking, but first of all, the brick are in good shape. I really like the brick. What I don't like is places like this where they've heaved up, you could trip, and again, another hole when they settle. Now, that's telling me that there's something wrong underneath the brick. So the first thing we need to do is go underneath the brick and take a look and see what we can find. I want to take one of these edge bricks out and take a look and see what's underneath here. Let me get one more out. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Sand and loam, neither of which make a good base for a walkway. So that's why it's sinking. That's right. Now, I have good news and bad news for you. The good news is the brick are in good shape and we can reuse those. What's the bad news? The bad news is we have to take up all the brick and dig out all that sand and install a proper base under your walkway. That sounds like a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but the walkway is only as good as the base it sits on. So let's get to work. All right. All right, it's all going to start with removing the bricks. And these bricks are going to come up pretty easy. You can see there's nothing behind them but topsoil, so they're not held in place at all. Now, every brick you take off, I want you to keep it back about two feet, keep them nice and tight and straight. We can get at them easier when we go to put them back in. So what makes sand such a bad base? It never packs up hard. I mean, look at this. I can just take my finger and scratch all the way down through it. It never packs up and fully supports the brick. Well, these brick are coming out pretty quickly, and I'll finish this end up. Why don't you start loading that sand in the wheelbarrow? David, look here. There's probably a good, what, five or six inches of sand, and yeah. then it's all good gravel underneath, so we're in good shape. We just got to get all that sand off, all right? So we're getting close. We're getting close. David, let me show you what we got. The door to your sun porch measures exactly 32 inches. Now, when I lay these brick out with eight in the field and one edge brick on each side, the brick measures 32 inches, so it's a perfect fit for us. Now, these edge brick, when they're stood like this, are called sailors. Why are they called sailors? Because they look like sailors on a deck, shoulder to shoulder, when they stand there. So to support these sailors, we're going to put in a wedge of concrete. That means we've got to dig out about six inches behind them. And it looks like we'll have to dig on the other side, too. The other side, too. All right. Now let me show you what we're doing. We have a new line here. That's this orange line, and that's the grade line. When our first brick is set, it wants to be right at the bottom of the door, and you can see it matches up with that string line. Now as the line runs down, it drops a quarter of an inch per foot. That's going to allow the water to run off and out. That's the pitch. That's right. Now if you come down here to our grade line and we hold the brick up here, you can see we have quite a void underneath it where we took out all the sand. And to fill that void in, I'm going to use pack. So that's better than sand? Way better. This three-quarter inch stone and stone dust mixed together, once I hit it with a compactor, will be hard as a rock. But with a stone in there, it can be kind of hard to set the brick on. So for my setting bed, I'm going to use stone dust. And how much stone dust do you use? Well, I'm going to use about three-quarters of an inch of stone dust. And if I take the measurement of the brick, which is two and a quarter, that gives me a measurement of three inches. So I want to set my base material at exactly three inches below the grade line. But the first thing we're going to do is compact the subgrade. Now we're ready for the pack material. How do you want me to spread it out? You just level it out. We're going for two or three inches. That's all. I'm not looking for anything special. I just don't want it thicker than three inches because then the compactor won't pack it. Well, that's good for the first layer. Now we've got to compact it. Take a look at this. 
if I hold the brick up to the orange line, which is our grade line, you can see we have room underneath here for our three quarters of an inch of stone dust, our setting bed. But now we gotta think about our sailors. Now the sailors are gonna go up against this yellow line. The yellow line is the straight line of our walkway. And then it's gonna go flush with the field. Right, they're gonna be down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and dig out a little bit of material and put a form in to help us set the sailors. For our form, we're gonna use a scrap piece of decking. Now we're gonna take and line it up with our yellow line, our straight line, and we're gonna take and drive in a wooden stake. Take and put one in right behind it now. Once we get all the stakes in place, we'll lift it up to the grade line. Another one in, hold it tight to the decking. The great thing about the composite decking, it's flexible. So we can use it to make a nice curve in the walkway. All right, now take the form and lift it right up to the orange line, okay? Screw it right in place. Perfect. Come on down with me. Now for the form on the other side, we're gonna use the same composite decking. Now what I've done is I've cut a couple pieces of two by four, 32 inches long, which is the width of our walk. So you're gonna put those in between as a spacer. Now just take and line it up and put a stake right in behind it. Now we just cut these stakes down flush with the top of the form. Now the first brick we're gonna put in are the sailors. Now we're gonna have to put these down so they're flush with the top of the form. And the only way we can do that is to dig a little trench with this mini grub hoe along the edge of the board. What I like to do is get it so that the brick is down a little low. And then I'm just gonna add a handful of stone dust and take the brick, pound it down in place. And that's never gonna go anywhere. How are we doing, Roger? We're doing great. The sailors look perfect. A lot of work, though, huh? Yeah. Very important step in our walkway. But now it's time for the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to set down a bed of stone dust to lay the brick in. All right. Just about three quarters of an inch, like we said earlier. So are we ready to lay the bricks down? Not just yet. We have to level and compact the stone dust first. Now, to level the stone dust, we're gonna use what's called a screed, and it's just a two by four that I cut a notch out of, and you can see that it's a little shallower than the brick. So when I'm done, the brick's gonna sit a little proud, and we're gonna take and knock it down in with a rubber hammer. So I'm just gonna run down this with a screed, and then we'll run over it with a tamper. Now we're ready for our last layer of stone dust. I'm gonna take and shovel this off for you. I'm gonna have you screed off. And this time you gotta do a really good job because our brick are going right on top of this. Your brick are good brick. I only have one issue with them. They're not modular. What do you mean by modular? Well, in a modular brick, twice the width is equal to the length. And you can see here, when we line up your brick, that the widths do not match up to the length. They leave a big gap. And that's where we had all the moss. That's right. So if we repeat your pattern, we're going to have the same problem. What I want to do here is do a running bond pattern, where we line the brick up that way, and then the next row splits the gap. So I'm going to take and start, and I'm going to put the first brick up at the door. We're going to start with the whole brick. I'm going to tamp it down. And when you're putting them in, if you see the weathered side, put it up, okay? It'll look nicer. What I did to keep the running bond pattern is the second row started with a half a brick. And now every one I put in is going to split the gap as we go down. So why don't you come right up here and start on this row, all right? Okay. Roger, it is looking good. Yeah, it's coming along, but now we're getting into the challenging part. We've got this curve that we have to take care of with some smaller pieces, because if I put a big piece in like that, 
look at the gap I would end up leaving. So by using some of our smaller pieces on site, we're going to set them in. It's going to help our bond, and then we'll put one more in. And we're right back to a whole piece again. Looks great. Well, those are the last two, Roger. Now, to lock those brick in place, we're going to take and spread some stone dust out here. Grab that boom, and I want you to take and sweep this until it fills all the joints in, locking the brick together. David, these sailors lock the whole walk together. You gotta keep them from moving. I'm gonna put in a wedge of concrete to hold them in place. And I'm just gonna take my hand trowel and shape it into a wedge against the brick. These bricks are not gonna go anywhere. Well, now all we have to do is finish the concrete all the way around the edge, and you have yourself a proper walkway. I'll say, just a few hours ago, the bricks were buckled, there were weeds coming up, this is just amazing. Thank you so much.